picnics are one of the nicest things about summer. Some of the best ones you can have right in your own backyard. Everything seems to taste so extra good. Maybe just because you can eat outside. Did you ever wonder how we get all these things? Do you know where bread comes from? Billy Roberts does, because his father works in a bakery. Billy knows that most bread, cakes, cookies, and pies come from wheat, which is grown in many parts of our country, but mostly in the flat prairie states. Wheat is one of man's most important foods, but it's always made into something else before it's eaten. Only the tiny grains which grow at the top of the stalks are used to make bread. Wheat is harvested by big machines called combines. As the combine moves through the fields, it cuts the stalks. Grains of wheat are taken from the stalks and dropped into a storage bin. The stalks are blown from the rear of the combine. These stalks will be either plowed back into the ground or used as straw. When the storage bin on the combine is full, the wheat is emptied out into a truck which will haul it away. When all his wheat is harvested, the farmer sells it to a grain elevator, or mill. There it is stored until needed, or made into flour. At the mill, the grain is unloaded into pits, which empty out onto wide conveyor belts. The conveyor belts carry it to the machines, which make it into flour. The grain is ground many times by passing it between the sharp rollers of the milling machines. It is then sifted until only the fine flour remains. This is the flour that goes to the bakery to be made into bread. Sometimes Billy goes with his dad who works here in this big modern bakery. It's fun to watch them making bread, and even more fun when you can pretend you're a baker and work the big mixers. In the making of bread, the flour is first sifted into the mixing machine. Then water, yeast, sugar, shortening, and vitamins are added. All of these things are mixed together for a few minutes. The mixture, called a sponge, comes tumbling out. There's enough sponge here for over 900 loaves of bread. The sponge is wheeled into a warm room. Here, the yeast in the mixture causes it to rise. It swells and swells until it is many times bigger than it was at first. Then the baker punches holes in the sponge to let out some of the gas made by the yeast. Now it is left to rise again before another trip to the mixing machine. Next, a machine called a divider cuts the dough into loaf-sized pieces. It is then rounded into balls and allowed to rise again before being rolled into sheets. The sheets of dough are rolled up under a wire mesh which makes loaves, just the right size for the pan. After it rises once more, the dough is ready for the big ovens, which can bake hundreds of loaves at a time. 
In about half an hour, the bread is baked and comes out of the oven. The loaves are taken from the pan. They cool as the conveyors carry them to the slicing and wrapping machine. A bakery makes many other things from flour besides bread. Many kinds of coffee cakes and rolls are made up here. It's fun to watch all the wonderful things that happen. Here they're making pies. Each woman at the table has her own part of the job to do. The ovens hold hundreds of pies at a time. whether pies or cream puffs. Flour is the most important part of everything made in a bakery. Other things, like chocolate, too, are used. It's melted down from a big bar and used to make frostings and delicious eclairs. Machines do much of the work in a modern bakery. These mixing machines work like human hands. This machine rounds the dough for making jelly donuts. The raw donuts fry in the hot shortening. The donuts cool as they ride up and down on the cooling conveyor. But these are not jelly donuts yet. Ever wonder how the jelly gets inside? Well, here's how. In this frying machine, the dough drops into the hot shortening. The smoke kind of gets in your eyes when you look inside the machine. Some fried cakes slide down a chute into a turning drum where they're sugared. For Billy, the best part of all is getting to eat anything he wants. There are so many things, it's hard to know where to begin. It's nice to have a father who works in a bakery, all right. But as Billy knows, there's a lot more to a fried cake or a piece of bread than the eating. There are the trucks and drivers who leave the bakery very early in the morning to take the bread to the stores before they're ready to open. so that the bread is as fresh as it can be when you buy it. There are the skilled people in the bakery who make the bread for us. The machines at the mill which makes the flour. And most important, 
the golden wheat, which makes it all possible.